Hey guys, we're just going to do a quick video today on some of the tools and spare parts that we carry in the car. Um, we're about to sort of uh, go through and reevaluate how we want this. So we just thought we'd show you what we've got now and then when we redo it and refigure it out, just show you then what we've changed. Basically, uh, as far as tools go, we've only been carrying pretty basic setup in the side here. So all we've been carrying really is just a small, like super cheap uh, quarter inch drive socket set, as well as this um, tool roll. It's just a cheap one that we got from super cheap a while back. And we've just sort of thrown in other tools and different size spanners and all that sort of stuff that we wanted. It's pretty basic, but um, it does sort of the main things that you're gonna need, that with the little sockets. But we've been looking at a few different options, especially for the trips away where we're gonna be doing a lot of four-wheel driving. I wanted something a bit more uh, complete, uh, just in case there was something sort of more major that happened, like this is only sort of little patch of jobs just to keep us going. So uh, we've just got one of these uh, Tool Pro automotive kits. Just because it's a pretty good range, it's got a huge range of sockets, which is really good. Um, the only thing I would probably change is add in a bit bigger range of actual spanners. But um, just as a sort of kit to throw in the car, especially for those like four wheel drive trips. Um, yeah, that's, I'm pretty happy with the way that kit set out. And the other really good thing about with this kit is all the tools in it actually have a lifetime warranty. So even though it's sort of a cheaper kit, you don't really have to worry about it being cheaper quality because if anything does break, we just take it back into super cheap and get it swapped over. So that's a big benefit of it. Uh, just some of the other little things that we do take in the car that I guess falls under the same category. Uh, in this panel over here, like if you actually pull the drawers out, you can unbolt this panel. In behind there, I've got a spares kit uh, that we just ordered online. It's got all your like fan belts and stuff for the TD42, as well as uh, spare radiator hoses and stuff like that. Uh, we've also just thrown um, like a spare fuel filter in there and a couple of other little bits and pieces that may come in handy. They're not easily accessible but in the case that we actually needed something like that it's fine to just pull over, pull the drawers, unbolt it and get into there. But we don't really need to access it daily so that's not a big drama for us. In the top drawer up here, uh, we do carry a fair bit of stuff. Like we've got one of these uh, Dr. Air um, tire repair kits. Uh, that just sort of lives up in the top there, just in case we do ever need it. Uh, also, I always carry um, some spare fluids. I don't go overboard, but I always carry um, an extra liter or two of the um, motor oil that I use. Um, and as well as like a small thing of the coolant concentrate uh, as well as like your power steering fluid. Always just keep like a small, even a 500 ml bottle in there. Some of the smaller stuff that's just uh, not really, I guess a tool, but uh, we always keep like a couple of knives. Like I've got this one and this one bolted up here um, as well as uh, Leatherman multi-tool. That one's the Leatherman Wave. That always just lives right here on the fridge slide so it's always easy and quick to grab it. The small ones like that, they probably end up getting used more than the actual tool kits themselves. Because if it's only something small around camp or whatever, it's a lot easier just to grab that out and go tighten something up. And normally in the back of the car, in the uh, seat organizer on the back of my seat. We just have this set of the stubby uh, ratchet spinners and I always find them really handy for tightening up 
uh, just the nuts and bolts like on your awning or anything that like that that you might need another thing we do always carry in the car in one of the drawers we just have a few ratchet straps and cam buckle straps and stuff like that just in case we need to um, you know throw something on the roof or pull something back together or whatever we found these ones um, from super cheap I really like the design of them because they've got a hole on the back so you can actually permanently mount them but then you can just extend your strap out over whatever you need to tie down and then just crank it shut with the ratchet like that and if you pull it out so too far over there you just press this release button and it pulls it back in so it's just like an easy way especially on a high car if we have that even if it's not bolted just hooked around one end you can just pull that over and then just crank it down it just makes it a lot easier but we always do carry one or two of just the standard ratchet straps as well just in case for some reason we need need one all right guys so that's just a quick sort of look um, at some of the spares and tools that we carry uh, we are going to sort of refine it a bit i think that big toolkit's really good i want to try and focus on carrying things specific to the car so like everything on this car is metric so i don't really need to carry a lot of the imperial stuff as well as things specific like underneath the car certain things need a bigger size just sort of get all that really refined and only carry what we need um, especially if we want to plan like a you know a bigger trip a road trip or something like that you don't want to be carrying around a heap of stuff that you just don't need but for now this is working really good for us like i said if we're going somewhere for driving we'll take the bigger kit uh, but generally day to day it's just this smaller tool roll and a few little spanners and sockets that sort of thing and it's yeah done the job for us so far so good so thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next friday